And welcome back guys. What is going on? Unite the Clans here back in your life. And we are here on our Scorched Earth server. So I think this is technically episode 12 of Arc Scorched Earth, but it's also the first of a little mini series I'm doing called Where to Play. Um, I have a lot of great places to play art, guys, and this is one of them. And we're going to spend this episode uh, having a look around what I've already done here and talking about what we could do here. Actually, I've got things I want to do today. Uh, the first is change my gear. I have been wearing this ratty old outfit since, like, episode three, I think. So we're going to go uh, change out of it. As you can see... Um, my base and my dinosaurs have all been painted in a color scheme. Uh, we got cantaloupe and cyan just about everywhere, including on this raptor. The whole raptor is cantaloupe and cyan, so it works perfectly. Uh, but I've done the saddles for my Rex and a bunch of my other dinos. I've got these cyan lights at the back of the base, which looks like this. And um, so what we're going to do is change up our outfit. I'm actually going to gear up this bird with a new saddle, one that matches the color scheme. And then we're going to go on a little adventure, I think, guys. Uh, if you have a look inside, a couple of the things I have are oil pumps. Now, I live on the, what would you call this, the southwest chunk of the map. I'm right by the red obelisk. And um, there are no oil wells around here. So I've been getting a little bit from my dung beetles. Those are a new addition. I've got them over here in this pen. Um, and they're great. They actually pick up the poop and turn it into fertilizer for you. All my crops died, so I want to get them back up and running. Let's see if we can find one of the dung beetles kicking around here. Here's one. What's going on, guys? And so they make fertilizer for you. They make a tiny bit of oil, but we need a better supply of oil. So that's our plan for today. Why don't I go ahead and, and try a dye job on the new outfit? It's still going to be mostly desert gear like this since we're out in the desert. Um, but I'll work out a new, uh, new outfit, and I'll come back to you guys. We'll do up the saddle for that bird, and then maybe we'll set off to build ourselves an outpost. Uh, I tracked down a cool double oil well that nobody on this server has claimed yet. And uh, I want to set up an outpost there so that we are stocked up, geared up for gas. I showed you. we got a couple oil wells. I think I might put a couple forges in, in there too. Uh, but we will see. I will be back. Give me a few minutes to, to freshen up and, and put on a better outfit. And I'll see you guys in a minute. And welcome back. I don't know. You let me know what you think, guys. Uh, I think it suits our color scheme out this way a little better. I'm going to go ahead and stash my old armor and ooh, my old tools. I did up a new set of tools as well. My pike is slightly worse, but it's cool. I'll live with it. Um, so we're going to put our old armor and tools out here. I have one dino whose saddle I haven't changed yet. She was actually my first tame on this server, I think, back when Scorched Earth first started. So I'll go ahead and put uh, the old white tools and armor in here. They're pretty beat up anyway. So I'll stash those there for now. And you can see I've actually got a bunch of extra stuff. I grabbed some old, uh, some extra desert gear just in case I hit a sandstorm or it gets crazy hot or crazy cold. We'll have some alternatives uh, for clothing. And I've actually got a whole storage bin over here, a preserving bin actually, which are great for storage, regular old storage, by the way. Uh, I've got those full of the dyes we used and then a bunch of extra armor in case I ever need it. Uh, so that's there. But for now, this is the look we're going for. We got some backup gear uh, in the inventory, and I did up a saddle for Mama Cave Bird. So let's get her geared up, and we're going to take off. And we're going to take off for the oil wells, the location of the double oil wells. And I have marked those on my map. If you guys live near this pillar, for example, and you're looking for oil, I think this is the closest double oil well. But we're headed to an area right around the green tower where we started this series. That is where all the oil is. So I'm going to head out that way. I don't know. What do you think of the saddle? This bird's color scheme is not my favorite, but I think the saddle works. Uh, so let's head out that way. I will bring you back uh, when I found the location. And we're going to build up a little outpost. All right. We are almost there, just to the right of the green tower. Uh, and we were up, once you got up on these cliffs up here, these this flat area, I'm pretty sure is where it was. It might have been one level down. But somewhere over here are uh, double oil veins. And that's what we're going to, yeah, we're going to head over there. We're going to get set up. And uh, I'm doing it from the back of the RG. Perfect spot. 
uh, to stop and have a look. This is where my man Whitman lives. I think he's coming back to play on the server soon. I don't know, but uh, it, it has been quieter lately, and I've definitely been away from this server, but it's good to be back. And um, on here, guys, I have a bunch of other active uh, YouTubers. Uh, Monkey Puzzle and BLP are uh, two guys and two YouTube channels you ought to check out. They'll definitely be in the description. Those guys have been doing a ton of building, just won the Architect Award and Community Crunch representing this server, and uh, um, my man Arali, who helps me run my personal server, and his buddy Fox playing on here as well. And now I'm back. I'm not sure who else is still active. We had so many people when this uh, uh, DLC first launched. And uh, let's have a look at the map. Oh, we're overheating. Okay, so this is what I talked about with this outfit. Some of it is not desert gear. So I'll go ahead and put on what I can that is desert gear. The boots, the goggles, the gloves. There we go. Okay, perfect. And we'll pull out the map. We'll have a look. But yeah, this server was really, really active when we first started. Yeah, I think we're right here. Um, and it has definitely died down lately, as things always go with uh, video games and with people, especially with part-time YouTubers. None of us have particularly big channels, some bigger than others. But uh, if, if we were all making our living off this, I can guarantee you people wouldn't be taking the long breaks they've taken over the last little while. Oh, it's right by this drop. Is this the double? This is the double. Okay. Right by a white drop. Everything I do lately is right by a white drop. It's so weird. A bunch of building tutorials in a row. All right. Uh, we might as well see. You never get anything too good. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any of this stuff. This is just going to clog up the inventory. So we're not going to build much out here, guys. I just want a little outpost and to build a couple oil wells. Now, I've never done that. I don't know if they need anything. They shouldn't need power and they shouldn't need... Oh, these are on the bird. Okay. I have the uh, blueprint for one. I found it coming across the desert here, um, but I already had it. So we'll take these two oil wells. We'll get them into the inventory. They don't stack, I guess. And then we're just going to build a little shack with a bed so we can come and spawn out here if we ever need to check our oil supplies. And oh, there you go. Okay. All right. So that is how it wants to place. Let me crouch and see if I can do the zoom out version for you guys. There you go. Okay. So that's how it's going to want to go. I guess we can't really control the orientation of it. I don't think. Let me try moving around the outside of it. No. Okay. So let's just place it. Okay. And I've, I've definitely seen how they work. They just slowly, slowly gather. Uh, obviously nothing yet. And with oil, guys, I need oil to make gas, uh, especially for my generator back at the base. It's super low. So what we're going to do is gather enough uh, to get me some gas. I think I'm going to gather it mostly in oil, and then I'll bring it back to my base. Eventually, though, we could build uh, one of those super forges here, uh, and then people could just drop off their hide, trade it in for oil. It would be a pretty good setup. I don't know if anybody's done that on the server yet, uh, but you have to take hide and cook it in a forge or industrial forge with oil. Um, I also use the oil to preserve stuff to make... Uh, to make uh, jerky and things like that, like this cooked meat jerky. And you can do other, you can do, uh, these oil jars, which I've never done, but I found this one in a drop on the way over. So what I think it does, what's the thing we could pick a fight with? We could definitely pick a fight with a parasaur. So it's like a grenade and you throw it and it hits the thing with oil or it's supposed to. And then I don't see the oil slick. There's supposed to be an oil slick there. So no, that's stupid. It just lit on... It would have lit anything I shoot is going to light on fire, isn't it? I think so. Okay. Anyway, we got these two oil wells going now. Yeah, get lost. I'll light you on fire again, you freak. Oh, yeah. You're done. See ya. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's just build a mini shelter here. I'm going to build it right in between. Eventually, we may come back here and fence in the whole area, but I wanted to get us a really simple uh, starting point. Oh, I've got all my building materials. I grabbed, it's like going to be a one by one house. This is definitely different than my building tutorials. So we'll keep this really simple and I'll get all this stuff loaded up in my inventory. I don't know what we'll do with these ceilings yet. I'll play around with those. Hatch frame. And we're going to build it mostly out of adobe. I don't think I have adobe everything. I'm going to have to use wood ceilings and a thatch foundation, but that's cool. Uh, this is a fairly safe area, actually, because this is typically where you see, like, dire wolves. Okay, I want to be right in between them. Typically where you see dire wolves and terror birds and things we don't get a lot of out at my oasis. Okay, so let's crouch, and we'll zoom out. Okay, and we'll try and put it directly 
in the middle as best we can. Yeah, like that. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be the start of our house. We'll just slap it together. And we'll now have a place out here, guys. We'll be able to fast travel, come to this bed. Uh, we could even eventually set up a second base out here, a little uh, gasoline outpost, which is what I was calling this. Um, and we're going to have everything we need to head back to the base very shortly. I'm going to have a bunch of oil. Uh, we're going to have... Oh, here, let's put a hatch frame on top. I forgot about a hatch frame. Okay, perfect. And then I've got wooden ceilings, but I only have four. So I guess we could slap a few of these on here. I don't know why I brought such a strange array of stuff, but I did. So uh, so this will work. This will work out okay. And we'll go put a door on this thing. We'll go put a bed on the inside. Let's put another one of you here. And like I said, put a bed right here. Perfect. And we'll call it gasoline outpost or gas outpost. I forget what I called the other one. All right, perfect. And let's go have a look, guys. We'll see if these oil wells have already started generating oil for us. If they have, it's going to be awesome. And it's not going to take that long. So what do we got? Yes, 10 oil already. Okay, so I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to stay out here and collect a bunch. Then we're going to head back. We'll make some gasoline. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'll, I'll find something to do while these fill themselves up. And uh, I'll come back to you. Oh, I'm pulling up to the green oasis, guys. I have not been here since the early days of this series. I'm not even sure who lives here, who's active here. I think... Is that still rendering in? No, I think that might be Mind Melt's place. Who's CP? I don't know who half these people are anymore. Who's CP? I should know who CP is. I'll see if I can figure it out. Uh, okay, and this is, this is Monkey Puzzle and Aaron's place. They outgrew this and moved out way, way back ago. That crazy uh, Pariser windmill powered thing that belongs to SW Chris. And he's actually, I think he said he's leaving the server. So he wanted this thing to get some use. It is pretty cool. Check that out. Okay, so that's my man SW Chris. He and I have recorded a lot together back on uh, the Iron Mine server, our vanilla server. Yeah, I think that's his thing. That is pretty cool. Okay, well, especially if he's leaving that. Maybe we can come back and use that sometime. Ooh, and there's crops here. I'm going to have a look around the crops. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can get myself into trouble while we wait for some oil, and I will be back. Nope, crops are dead. Shoot. All right, we are back here hanging out at the Green Oasis waiting for some oil to generate over at my place, and I wanted to get these crops going. Uh, we've got a... I don't know how they've been left un untreated for so long, or unfertilized. I don't know what the deal is, but I wanted to get them going. So this one already had a seed in it, and what have we got? Okay, rock carrot. Okay, and this one, it's got citronol in it. Okay, so that's perfect. We'll go ahead and fertilize them up. I just found this fertilizer kicking around, so this place is 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 coming along. And we'll do a little bit here, savile root. So there's not, not one for long grass, but... It is what it is, and I'll throw my extra seeds and fertilizer in this one, and we'll hopefully keep it going long term. Give me some of this. Transfer. Okay, I guess it won't transfer because it's already got one type of seed in it. Do you need seeds, or are you seeded? You're all seeded. Okay, perfect. Oh, a little bag of fertilizer. Go ahead, drop that off. Perfect. And I think uh, uh, we're going to head back, guys. I've gotten a little bit of oil heading back and forth already, and I'll put some more on this bird. Um, but I want to fill her up until she is too heavy to fly. Uh, so let me, and I've, I'm going to, I grabbed, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'll head back there. I'll, I'll see if I can fill her up with oil. should be about time now, and uh, we will get the heck out of here and head home. Shadows are a bit long. The uh, the day is almost gone, guys. I've been doing a few little upgrades to the outpost. I Since we're waiting for oil, I figured I'd gather what I could around here. Probably should have brought a thorny dragon or something that would really help me get, gather up some resources. Oh, let's stop and have a drink. Oh, canteen's empty. Okay, so I may need to go get myself some water, but uh, I'll show you what I've been doing at the base. Uh, I've just been expanding it slowly, added, oh, it's too dark. All right, fricker. All right, where's my torch? Boom. 
Okay, perfect. I know I'm dying of water, lack of water. I'm slowly filling in the area around the base. Uh, I'm going to keep adding in uh, these things and doing pillars on the corners. Uh, and you know what? I should probably go rehydrate myself, guys. Uh, I'm going to wait till morning. By then, I should have enough oil, and hopefully I will not have died of dehydration. But we'll keep uh, expanding this, this little mini bungalow in between the two oil springs, and uh, I'll come back when we're all full of oil. Whew. Okay, guys, morning almost here. I think we can probably put that thing away. I've been building up this base a little, and every time I come back here, we can do some more work on it. Um, but I think we are just about ready to finish it off. I'm going to go put down some standing torches to light the place up. I was hoping to get this done before morning, but morning sneaks up fast on you out here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get these, light them up maybe. I don't know what I have to light them up with. Not much, so they won't be lit for long. But you'll get some of the effect. And I want, if this is going to be our oil and gasoline base, I want it to look like it's literally on fire all the time. <laughs> so we can put these up. We can maybe start campfires or get forges going around here. I don't know what would make the most sense to give it that look. But um, I do want this place to be lit right up at night so it's easy to find. Maybe we'll come back and uh, set it up with the electricity. We should never be short on gas out this way. So and I'll put one more just off to the side here like I did with the last. Light that baby up. Perfect. And I'll grab the last of our oil. Guys, I don't know if we're necessarily at maximum capacity. If my bird can't take any more. But I don't want to keep staying out here. It's already been a long night. A long couple of nights, actually. And we can empty these out. Give me that. Give me that. Perfect. Okay. And I think we're geared up. I'm going to head home. Uh, and then as soon as I get home, I have a giant supply of hide. Ooh, we got a level. I think we're going to put it on speed. Perfect. Um, uh, so I have a giant supply of hide at home. And uh, I'll brew up some gasoline. And then I'm actually going to kick the lights on on the place and let you guys get a good look at it. They were on very briefly at the beginning of the video. But we ran right out of gas. So that is the plan for today. Leave behind the gasoline outpost. I'll head back to the base. We'll get the, the, everything started up. I'll show you some of my... Ooh, flying over someone else's base. I'll show you uh, a little bit of the place. And then... Um, That'll be it. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, getting the fire started. We should have some gasoline any minute. And I don't know if the sun has hit our valley yet. It seems like it has. Uh, kind of. I was hoping to get the, the generator kicked on and these lights up to show you how good this looks at night. But I, uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get to do it at night. But I do have these lights, and you can set them up now in any color you want. And I've got the the uh, unidirectional ones, the directional lights, and I've got them set up with cyan bulbs. It looks pretty cool. Um, let's go have a look and we'll see if we have any gasoline yet. I obviously have a ton to make. Um, so yes, we do. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and uh, throw some in the generator. I think it's Oh, it's not totally empty. Good. I could have lit this up earlier. Okay, but you can see we are down to our last stock. Get in there. Turn on. Okay, perfect. So that'll get our fridge going. We'll have to take a look at that. And you can see, boom, check out those lights. Imagine how badass that looks at night. It definitely does. So that's where I've been parking this guy and where we'll add future parking for all our dinos. Keep them really close to the base uh, instead of that stupid pen over there. Um, so that's that. Uh, my fridge, I don't know what's still in here, what's gone bad. Okay. We still got some jerky, still got some mayo berries, and that's that's fired up now. And uh, I think, guys, I'm probably hopping offline uh, at the end of making all this gasoline. So I'm going to get myself loaded up with tons and tons. I'll come back to you when I've done that, and I'll sign off. But I'm going to start transferring some of the stuff out of here where i got a lot more oil and things like that. And uh, I'll move it over into my fridge because I don't want to leave this going. I don't have enough spark powder to leave it going overnight. I guess I'm going to need to make a lot of spark powder to do all this. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get some gasoline brewed up. I will be back. All right, guys, I am pretty well geared up. I've still got both my forges going, but we've got this place lit up. I'll show you. Uh, I meant to do this earlier, but I, I set it up with a, the keypad, and uh, when the power's on, you can control a lot of things with this place. So check it out. This opens every window and every door. Let's natural light pour in. We should have a ton of natural light up on our bedroom. Front door's wide open. Ooh, I guess I gotta program those windows. Those are new. Uh, and these ones all cracked open. You got a ton of light up here. Now, I think, I'm trying to remember, I think I turned the lights off with a different code. So let's try turning those off because 
when the when the day is uh, when it's daytime, they're pretty useless. So let's go see if those are off. They are, I think. Yes. Okay, and then I have one last one that's going to open up our top hatch for us, uh, which is what we need. Activate, and we'll go. Okay, you hear it? Okay, so with that done, I think, where did I end up parking my bird? Did I park her up top? I did. Okay, so we need to put her in the hangar. I've been parking the bird inside the house lately, uh, which is working out well. And, uh, and that does it, guys. This place is up and running. It is been a long time that I was away, but it seems like things are coming back to life. We got uh, fuel for the generator for days. Oh, perfect. You went ahead and fell in here. Whoops. Okay. So let's climb ourselves up. That When I did the last combination, it opens up that door. I didn't realize I parked her right on top. Uh, so let's get up here. We'll ride her. And I'll see if I can open that door. Perfect. And uh, I'll go third person. And Oh, actually, we're in here. Perfect. There you go. So this place isn't really big enough for an RG. If I had a smaller flyer, it would work better. But uh, she'll live in here for now. If I can get past her, get out of the way for frick's sake. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. All right, so now that she is tucked inside, we can shut this place down, lock up all the windows, lock up all the doors, and uh, I'm gonna sign off for you guys. So let's close all Let's close that thing. Oh, wait, that turned on the lights. Turned off the lights. Okay, let's close the door up top. You can hear it go. And then we'll turn off, close all the doors. We'll leave this place running. I'm going to make myself a little more gasoline. But uh, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed my return to the Molten Iron server. This is my home for Scorched Earth. And it's a server full of some other YouTubers. So uh, as this goes as part of the Scorched Earth series, I'm happy to be bringing it back. And in terms of our uh, Where to Play Arc series, this is one of a bunch of spots. You guys could uh, suggest for me to play more. I really like it here. And uh, I'm going to be here whether you ask me to or not. Um, but that does it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Unite the Clans, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.